Welcome amigos to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. We have another exciting tutorial in this series and it's all about particles. Let's go to Adobe Premiere. And this is from Cowboy Bebop the movie. You can see there's some particles here in the background. Really cool. We're gonna be replicating that in After Effects and we're gonna add it to this shot. It's gonna really enhance it. We'll add it to the foreground and it's gonna really enhance this shot. Now amigos, I have to be very honest with you. Perhaps one of the best particle plugins for After Effects is Trap Code Particular. The only thing is it's $400, it's expensive, I know. Uh, I know a lot of you are starting now, you can't afford it. I've been there, when I started out, I couldn't afford it either, but not to worry amigos because we're gonna be using CC Particle World which is completely free and it's it comes with After Effects. So let's go to After Effects. This is a clip that I showed you that we'll be using. Let's create a new solid, let's make it red. Let's call this particles, hit okay. And let's just hide our footage layer and let's go back to our particles and let's add CC world, go to simulation, CC particle world, and let's just play back so you can see what's going on. So by default, CC particle world is emitting particles and amigos, you might say, hey, hey CM, this looks kind of intimidating. There's a lot of different parameters and yes it might look intimidating and when I first started I was intimidated but amigos do not worry I'm gonna break it down as easy as possible so you can grasp it and start implementing in your very own projects so let's get started the birth rate amigos just think of it as how many particles do you want do you want a lot of particles or do you want just a little bit of particles so if we put a high value let's say we put a value of 10 you can see there's a lot of particles now if we put a small value like 0.1 and we play back you can see there's there's very few particles so let's reset now the longevity is the lifespan of each particle do you want each particle to to exist for five seconds for half a second for three seconds so whatever value you put here for example seven that mean that means that each particle is going to live exactly seven seconds let's reset now the producer if you've worked with particles before, producer is pretty much the same thing as the emitter, is where your particles are being emitted from. And here the producer is basically, you can, you can set the exact location in X, Y, and Z of your emitter or your producer, and you can actually increase the size of the producer as well. So we play back, that's pretty cool, it looks like a fireworks. So you can change, you can really change the type of particles by changing the radius, the X, Y, and Z. You can really do a lot of cool things. Let's reset and let's go to the physics engine. Now the physics part of CC Particle World, this is where slowly you're gonna start building your particles and they, there's a couple of different presets that they give you. Explosive, direction axis, which is basically particles emitting from a specific direction. You have cone axis which looks like a water fountain. We're gonna be using explosive for this tutorial and I use explosive a lot. And amigos, I just encourage you to go in and you test out each one and see what each one does. That's the only way that you learn by experimenting and having fun. So let's go to explosive and let's go to the velocity. This is very important. The velocity, if we put a value, right now is a value of one. If we, if we input a value of zero, you can see the velocity goes, the particles go straight down. If we put a velocity of 10, they're shooting out. So basically think of velocity, do you want the particles to be emitted narrowly or like spread out? Let's reset and reset, reset, and let's go to gravity. Now, gravity is exactly what it is. You know, the forces of gravity pulls you down and that's why you stay on the surface of the Earth. And that's exactly what it's doing to the particles, it's bringing the particles down. Now we put a higher value of gravity, the particles will be going down quicker. If we put a value of zero, when there's no gravity, they're just shooting straight towards you. Now the cool thing about this is we expand the longevity, we add seven for the longevity, maybe the birth rate 0.5. Now you're in hyperspace. Compressor. Maybe you're doing a sci-fi project. This is a very easy way to create this look. 
in real life, gravity pulls you down, but here, this is a plug-in. You can bend the rules. So not only can you make gravity go down, but you can make it go, <laughs> you got it, upwards. So if we put a value of minus one, you'll see that the particles will be going up. And for this tutorial of the little, the little circles, we're gonna make it go up, so we're gonna put a gravity of minus one. Now the resistance, just think of the resistance as basically the speed of, I know it's not a good word, but the resistance is how fast you want the particles to be emitting. So if we put a high value, for example, like 50, you have the particles slowly emitting. And you can't really see it here, but once we change the radius to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5, you can start seeing that slowly the particles are being emitted, are going moving upwards. And if we put a value of one for resistance, boom, they're just shooting straight up really fast. So let's go back and let's put value of 50. And let's go to our last category and it's particle. And this is where you're gonna put all the different parameters for each particle, like what each particle is gonna look like. Now, CC Particle World has a whole bunch of different options for you, for example, star. I've never really actually used star before. You have bubble. You have tripolygon. I use, I actually use tripolygon a lot. I use it for confetti, things like that. You can also bring in your very own, you can bring in your very own texture and it's with these three parameters down here and these one here as well. Let's, for the tutorial, we're gonna, we're gonna select lens convex, and this is gonna give us the circles. But for now, let's go back to tripolygon. There's a couple things I want to show you, amigos, and it's on, it's the birth and the death size. The birth size is the size of the particle when it's born, the death size is the size when the particle dies, and is all basically controlled by the, the longevity, the lifespan of each particle. Let's put a value of 0.5, and let's put a value of zero so you can see what's going on. And the longevity, let's change it to maybe about two seconds. Now, as let's take a look at this one in particular, this one specifically. And as we scrub, it fades in and it's pretty big. And over time, over two seconds, it's going to grow smaller. Now, amigos, you might say, hey, it looks, hey, CM, it looks like it's fading in and fading out. And you're correct. It is fading in and fading out. Because if we go to the opacity map, we can see here, this is the lifespan of the particle. Right now, we have it set to two seconds. So at zero seconds, it's going to start fading in. And just before it hits two seconds, it's going to start fading out. That's why you see each particle fading in and fading out. Now, if you don't want to fade in, you can just draw here. And each particle is just going to pretty much just pop on screen. And obviously, we have the death size at zero, so it's going to scale down. Undo this. And lastly, we can change the color, the birth color. Let's say we want to change it to purple and the death color to white. So it's going to start purple, and it's going to end up being white by the time it dies. And if you want more control, you can go to custom and they give you more options to work with. Now let's switch to lens convex. And lens convex uses the color of your solid. So whatever color your solid is, that's the color that it's gonna be used. So for, for this one, we have red, so it's picking up the red color. Let's play it back. And let's change some of these parameters. Let's make this 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Now, the size variation is how much variation do you want? Do you want to have all the particles the exact same size? You'll make it zero. Do you want to have a lot of variation, a lot of big ones, a lot of small ones in between? Then you might have maybe 100% variation. You can see there's a couple of small ones, a couple of big ones, medium ones. And let's, let's leave it at 75. And max opacity is exactly what it is, opacity. Do you want what is the maximum opacity of each particle? In this example, we don't want any opacity. We'll keep it at 100%. If you want a little bit of opacity, obviously you can go low, like 10. You can't really see it. But we don't want any opacity. Let's leave it at 100. And the birth rate, let's change it to a value of 0.1. Now, if we play back, the particles are starting to be emitted. And we want the particles to be like in mid-stride, already, already emitting. So what we can do is we can simply drag our layer over 
So when we play back, the particles are, are already emitting and the longevity, let's change it to seven. So each one will exist for seven seconds. Let's bring back our layer and let's play back. Let's do a RAM preview. And it's looking really nice, but we want to give it perhaps a little bit more of an organic movement. And that's where particular comes in really handy, but we can cheat it here in After Effects. Let's go to our particles and let's add a distortion. Go to effect, distort. And we're going to select Turbulent Displace. Let's put Turbulent Smoother and let's scrub through. So you can see the particles are now kind of floating in space going upwards. It might be a little bit too much. We can dial it down to about 25. And this looks a lot better. Now we can add a little bit of blur. Go to, let's go to Fast Blur and let's type in Fast Blur, let's bring it over, put a value of one so it's not crisp, crisp. We want it a little bit soft. And finally, we can add a glow. Go to Stylized Glow, and we can add a glow. And finally, let's make a, let's give it two different particle colors, one red and one yellow. And what you can do is you can always make a copy of your particles, Control D, and remember that the color of this particle is coming from the color of your solid. So let's let's give it a yellow color. Let's go to your solids and let's bring in this yellow solid and let's swap it. We swapped it, but it's exactly on top of the red. And what we can do is we can go back to CC Particle World, go to Extras, and just simply just change the random seed. Let's play it back. It's looking pretty good, amigos. And the last thing we can do, we can, this column that you see right here, we can put it in front of the particle. So what we can do is we can make a copy of our background. Let's bring it all the way up and grab the pen tool and just simply, let's just cut it out. Let's feather out a little bit, about one pixel. There you go, there you have it. That is it for this tutorial, amigos. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe to our channel. And your homework, very easy homework, amigos, is to go out, experiment with CC Particle World, add it to any clip that you want, maybe your music video or a trailer commercial, and we wanna see it, amigos. Post it on our Facebook group and join our School of Motion Graphics community. Click on the link below. Always stay creative, let it flow like agua from Managua. We'll see you in the next tutorial.